I'm hearing the Lord's voice say, come. I just, when God was birthing this word in my spirit, all I heard him say, I heard the bridegroom say, come. I heard the spirit say, come. It, 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 was, it was both an invitation and a command. An invitation and a command. Come is an instruction to change your position. Change your position. To change your position, it's time for some of you to change your position. You got to change your position. You've been in that position long enough. You've been down long enough now. As a position, God is saying, come up hither. I don't want to see you on the ground anymore. He said, come up hither. Come up hither. Come up hither. Come up hither. Change your position. When he says come, he said, change your position. Change your position. Change your position and let me do something different in you. Let me change where you are and how you are. Let me change your thinking. He says, I want you to change your position. He said, I want you to get into a different posture. You have the ability to be able to position yourself and reposition yourself. He said, God, I need you to do something different in me. Because what I'm doing is not working. I, I, I need you, Jesus. I need you. And he's just saying, change your position. Change your position. Change your position. That there has to be a shift in your position. It's, it's saying that what you used to do, I, 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 I can't keep doing that. It's insanity. It's not delivering what I need. And I, I'm hurting God. And I'm in pain, God. And, and I'm frustrated over what is not working in my life. And all that I hear the Spirit saying is, come. Come unto me, all of ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will. But he can't do anything if you won't come. Anybody that won't come to Jesus to say, come, come, come lay it down at the altar. Come with your struggles. Come with your vices. Come with your addiction. Come, come, come. He's calling. He's calling by his spirit that if we'll just let God be God, if we'll let it be glorified, I cannot explain what God does by the Spirit of the living God. But I do know that as you come to Jesus, He is the author and the finisher. The author and the finisher. The author and the finisher. And as your hearts are open and your spirits are open, God will give you an instruction. And He'll tell you what He wants you to do. He'll tell you. He'll put it in your heart to say, this is that that you're supposed to do when you obey God things that are falling apart will begin to fall together and the storm that is raging that is raging in your life the confusion the frustration the guilt the anger the bitterness the rebellion the disrespect when you bring it to Jesus when you bring it to Jesus when you bring it to Jesus and said, Jesus, I, I just give you all that I have. I give you everything that I'm struggling with in my life. Lord, I bring it to you. I come to Jesus. Everybody needs to come to Jesus moment. Everybody's got to have something to where they said, the Spirit is just saying, come, 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 come in your anguish. Come in your pain. Come in your confusion. Because He calls you out. He calls you out. He calls you out. He calls you out. He calls out every demonic, every perverted spirit, every oppressive spirit is to be called out. Every demonic thing, every satanic thing that is attacking your mind, come out. Come out in Jesus' name. Come out in Jesus' name. Come out. You cannot go into the promised land until he cast out the spirit of Egypt. He's in the building. He's in the building. He's in the building. Your coming is a yielded position in your heart of where Jesus wants to have his way in you. He wants to have his way in you. The devil thought that he had messed you up and that he had destroyed your call, that he had polluted you. But God saw you, God saw you, and God heard you. And he sees everybody that responds to his call. That call to say, come, 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 come up hither. 
come up hither, come up hither. Because you had binders, you've been, you felt something binding you that was invisible. You couldn't see it, but it was binding. And the Spirit said, come, 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 come. Come, come, come. I feel spiritual surgery happening today in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Yeshua. Matarikesh krona basketish. Come, come, come. Come, come, come. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. Even so, he closes the New Testament out with, even so, come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus. When Shiloh comes, Shekra dala boskeya, Tate viri kushmata, Se Christo mon roko mon di ke frikishno, San reketishno la bore frikishno, Zata se se krishno, Pasiki njiglo pragedevsno, Safra ke deshni tili be kafashno. Se krish in dili ki framaskoto. De sa rekosu uri bi ke frikoshno. Sa prago frike deshni atale be kosh. Masakere poshkatas. Zili brekosi se klanj koto modri ke tish. Marafoshki e brekoshno namas. Je bragafron de brigiski orotomos. Raposkota la meshke. Zizige fregodosi apas. Sata kresti bosike la mans. Fonski de la bosko. Chakara bosketis. Vas ivrest ivrosoto monsko. Da prokuti basie. Jiku vrosketa borosha. Fatskuri baski onj. Masiklere fishen ambraka. Or I will guide you with a word. I will guide you with a word. And as you follow my voice, I will lead you into good places, green pastures, where you will be fed, your needs will be met. And I will give you that that will fulfill you in a way that material things cannot. And the peace that you really long for on the inside will suddenly flood your soul for the very thing that has the capacity to take you under and drown you I give you the authority to be able to trample over to walk on top of and that that could have taken you under you will survive it rise above it come up and not only shall your life be preserved, but after you've survived the storm, you will become master lifesavers. Where you lift others and bring them unto Jesus the Christ, the ultimate lifesaver. And redemption will come. And you will discover that what God has called you to do, that purpose will be ignited in your heart and fulfillment will flood you as you come into that place called the will of God peace like a river will flood over your soul and what once brought fear to you will now bring peace contentment and joy but it is not designed to stay within you for out of your belly will flow
go living waters. And wherever this water goes, life will flow. In every place that the water touches, healing will come. Bring it up, Askoto. To the nations, healing. Let the waters flow. Let the waters flow. Let the waters flow. I hear the sound of the abundance of rain. Rain on us, God. Fresh oil. Fresh oil. Fresh oil. Fresh oil. Fresh oil. Fresh oil, oh God. Fresh oil. 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 So that when you walk in contaminated places, the contamination will not stick to you. Fresh oil. Fresh oil. And check the basket door. Fresh oil. Fresh oil. Fresh oil. Fresh oil. So that negative words will not penetrate your spirit. Wounding words will not hurt you and damage you. Fresh oil. Fresh oil. Fresh oil. Fresh oil. In the name, the name of Jesus. The river of God is flowing. The river of God is flowing. The river of God is flowing in this place. This is not a time of fear. This is the time to, to walk in the water. To walk in the water. He's bidding us come, 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 come. Come unto me, he says. All of you who labor and are worn out, you're weary, you're tired. You're ready to give up and throw in the towel. You're frustrated. You feel like your grace has run out. Jesus says, come to me. Come to me. Come to me. He says, my yoke is easy. My burden is light. Let's change. Give it to me, he said. Let's change. Let's change. Let's change. When you come, there is a divine exchange. Divine exchange. Divine exchange. Divine exchange. The Lord said, I heard you the first time. He said, I have not forgotten. He said, I have seen your affliction. Ah, he's coming to redeem your song. To redeem your daughter. Uh, to undo the curse. Oh, I felt something snap in the name of Jesus. Yes. Glory to God forever. Glory. I see in the realm of the spirit that when many of you just got up out of your seat to come, cable snapped. The yoke is broken. The fetter has been destroyed. You're going to find the lightness on you where it feels like you're almost floating. Because you've come unto him who's able to do exceeding abundantly and above all that you could ever ask or even think. And it's according to the power that works right on the inside of you.
Rest for your soul. Rest for your soul. Rest for your soul. He calms the storm. the Spirit of God that is falling and God says don't be afraid of the water for it is not come to harm you but to bless you and to refresh you and to water the seed that is in you that a harvest might spring up for God is not unfaithful concerning his promises nor his word to you for every word that he has spoken shall surely come to pass. God is washing stress off of you. It's washing worry off of you. It's cleansing impure thoughts. Cleansing the stains that have marred your soul. It's falling, refreshing, renewing, reviving. Give him permission to have his way in you. As you need a miracle, God will give you an instruction. May your spiritual ears be open. May your spiritual eyes be sensitive to know what he, the Spirit, would say unto you. And that that he says to you, do it. Do it. Do it. The blessing is in the obedience. Do it. Listen for his voice, for the instruction for you. Do it. That God's will might flood into your life like a mighty river. And the same water that will give life to one on one side will drown your enemies on the other. God will create a barrier of safety because you are his children. You are his seed. One of the best ways that I know to stop a storm is to do what Jonah did. He surrendered to the storm. And those of you who can, if you'll just bow down right where you are. And let's just pray for a few moments. This is unorthodox church, but it's Holy Ghost Church. Jebrege Talk to him. 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 Ladies, our men are in trouble. And I heard the Lord said, where are the wailing women? Not the partying women, not the celebratory women, but where are the wailing women? Where are the wailing women? 
when women wail and the, and, the, and the water pours from their eyes, God's ears become attuned. You pray for your sons, your brothers, your father. Pray for your stepbrother, your, your cousin. Where are the wailing women? Father, may you break our hearts with the things that break your heart so that we can hate what you hate and love what you love. Oh God, do a work in us. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will give spiritual ears, spiritual ears to the wailing women. Let them feel your pain, God. Let them take as it were, Lord, and travail, travail, travail until there's a birthing in the spirit, 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 in the spirit Lord. Father, our men are in trouble. Our boys are in trouble. Our sons are in trouble. Oh God, may you bring deliverance in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Sensitize, oh God, the precious women of God, Lord, of who they are. Give them a revelation of their true identity so they will stand in the gap. Stand in their call, oh Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, for men who are out of the will of God, who don't know you. God, thank you for women that are unrelenting, who will lay hold of the horns of the oars, horns of the altar, and will cry out, cry out, and cry out, God, until you move from heaven, God, until you begin, God, to shake things and break things, Father, until there comes a yielding in the realm of the Spirit. God, do it by your own power, by your own power, by your own power, Lord. May your voice be heard. In clarity, in clarity, in clarity. Lord, may you quiet the storm that rages within so that we may hear the voice that is carried on the winds of the Spirit of the living God. Speak to our hearts, O God, that we may hear and obey you. Take the ordinary, the mundane, the insipid, O God. Breathe on our water and turn it to wine. Turn it into something of value that is aged by the ancient of days. And let there be divine acceleration. Do a quick work. Let there be a quick release. A quick deliverance. Oh God, that it will testify of the miracle power of the supernatural living God. Father, as we return to our homes today, may something be different. In our eyes, let us see differently, hear differently, feel differently, pray differently, walk differently, talk differently. Father, because we have come to you and you have come and met us in the command to come on the waters. Thank you for the winds of the Spirit that are blowing in this place in the rain from heaven that is saturating us even in this hour. Fresh oil. Fresh oil. Fresh oil. Fresh anointing. Have your way, Lord Jesus. Have your way, Lord Jesus. Have your way, Lord Jesus. Penetrate every earthly and carnal issue that we have been wrestling with. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. May they be uprooted and demolished and obliterated, God, out of our lives in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, let the deliverance be so spectacular that there is no other explanation but God. God, do the work, Father, where there is a quick release. Of where bondage has been there, God, let there come such an abundance of the deliverance of the living God. And Father, let us leave with a note of victory on the inside to know that surely you are good and that you have heard and that you have answered from heaven because we have been bold enough to humble ourselves in your presence, God, and to seek your face and to turn from our wicked ways so that we may hear from heaven. Oh God, and that you will forgive our sin. And heal our land. Heal our land, God. Heal our land. Heal the sickness in the land. Heal the corruption that is in the land. Heal our land. Heal our land. 
Heal the racial divide in America. God, heal the land. Heal the land. Heal the sexism. Heal the land, God. Heal our land. Heal our land, God. Heal it. Stop the violence, oh God. Heal our land, God. Heal our land of the murder, God. Heal our land, God, of the language of the disease. Heal our land, God. Heal it. God, and then use us as healers to the nation. Father, forgive us for walking away from your will and allowing Satan to run rush hard all over us. We yield ourselves and avail ourselves to say, God, have your way. Have your way. We are your servants. Speak, Lord, for your servants here. And what you say, God, we will obey to do, Lord, to see your miracle power turning the ordinary into that which is rich, flavored, purposed, given by you that has your anointing upon it. Oh God, may we taste of the new wine of Jerusalem flooding down into our lives. May there be joy unspeakable and yet full of glory, bringing exaltation unto your name. Father, for every household represented in this place today, we stand in the gap. We stand in the gap. We stand in the gap, God. Now, Lord, by your Spirit, move. Be released, O oh God, to go into those places. And Father, the instruction that you put within our hearts, we will obey. So that as we obey you, God, that then you move and confirm it with signs and wonders. And we covenant in our hearts at this moment to give you all of the glory and the honor and the praise in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah to Jesus. Glory. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Lamb of God. Glory to the land. Glory, glory, glory.